deliberately personal. This poem too is one that's traveled around the world as has Trying On For Size and, and many others because it came to speak for a great many people. It was published in the 90s in my second collection and it was really inspired by responses in all the poetry readings I'd been doing throughout the 80s and also the events in Ireland which were many and extremely distressing. It was a period when a lot of stones were being upturned and horror stories that most people hadn't known about were being exposed for the first time. But those of us involved in the women's movement had known about them for several years because women came to us and spoke to us who couldn't speak to anybody else. They would come to our public meetings and pour out their hearts. And we knew about these terrible happenings long before the general public. And then when we in turn spoke about them, people would very often respond with fury, disbelief, fury and rejection. So this poem came out of that experience. The combination of the distress and secret suffering of so many Irish people and then the refusal to hear about that from so many others. Deliberately personal. Who is the woman who drove the children to school, made the beds and washed the dishes, who hoovered the wall-to-wall -wall carpet before slitting her throat at the bathroom mirror? Who is the man who drove his favorite niece to the party in her flowered pink frock, in her ribbons and bows, who raped her on the back seat on the way back? Why not, he said, look how she was dressed. And besides, hadn't she been doing it for years with her father? Who are these people? Where do they come from? What kind of man? What kind of woman? Where do they live? Who lives next door to them? How come none of us ever knows them? And how is it wherever it happens, he doesn't belong to us? How is it he's always somebody else's brother, father, husband? Why is it whoever she is, She's never more than a name in the papers, some vagrant, friendless, unnatural woman. And who are you come to that? All of you out there, out of the spotlight, out for a night's entertainment, smiles upturned so politely, asking me why I have to be so raw and deliberately personal.